Okay, so here we have the GoPro Hero 10 Black. And you might be thinking, hang on, I feel like I've seen this before. And uh, yes, if you've seen the uh, Hero 9 Black, there is a striking resemblance. They are pretty much both exactly the same size and shape. You'll see uh, this one's got a 9 on it, this one's got a 10 on it. Um, but uh, yeah, the differences are a little bit more significant than that. And it's mostly under the hood uh, because uh, we've got a whole new processor um, in here, the GP2. Uh, which is the first big upgrade in processing that they've done for several generations GoPro which really makes the camera work a whole lot more smoothly uh, it's capable of a uh, bit of frame rates um, all that sort of thing um, and uh, perhaps one of the most significant things is that the startup is super quick you just push that uh, record button and away you go you are uh, recording almost instantaneously uh, also the uh, the touchscreen on the back is way better than what we've seen before it works almost like a phone screen now uh, which is uh, good to hear uh, but the other thing I'm excited about uh, is uh, this accessory I'm holding it with as well it's a um, a, a charging hand grip called the Volta uh, so yes as I just said you can charge it up uh, if we access the uh, charging port under this weatherproof cover there um, and so that's basically like a, a battery pack uh, for uh, the, the GoPro itself so it's, it charges that you can charge it through it as well um, and obviously it's got your, uh, your one hand controls there uh, with that makes shooting nice and easy when you're uh, taking those sort of selfie vlogs and stuff like that um, and it also has this cool if we pop that out uh, you can that fits onto other GoPro accessories you can you know strap that onto your pack onto your strap um, you know that sort of thing and then that just pops away uh, when you're not using it so yes that's a very cool accessory indeed but what we're really here for is to see how good uh, the videos from the new gopro are and there's only one way to find that out let's go inside the uh, hero 10 black so here i am uh, inside the gopro hero 10 and um uh, yeah it really did uh, start up it takes about i would say less than a second uh, which is uh, pretty impressive it just fires up and you can start recording you won't miss a moment straight away um, it's great to use for uh, vlogging type videos like this uh, with that uh, forward facing uh, screen full color screen um, which we uh, first saw on the hero 9 of course um, but uh, let's to really test these things out of course it's not much use just me sitting here in this chair uh, let's go out and sit on a bike okay so I've got the uh, the Hero 10 black mounted on the top of this terrible bike helmet, this ancient bike helmet, and I'm going to get on my ancient bike, get my ancient body on my ancient bike, and see how we go. Okay, this is the beast, and I do mean beast. That's real rust from not being used on there. I don't know what's happening back here. It doesn't look good. Uh, this bit broken. That's not great. And uh, I think I've brushed most of the spider webs off it though. Now all I need to do is brush the spider webs off me. Right. So the trouble with my old mountain bike is that it doesn't really work anymore. Um, and everything that is rusted up and I might kill myself by riding it around but at least we'll get a video of it but really I'm just waiting to see how the stabilisation works and how things sound with the air movement rushing through it whether you can actually hear me at all okay okay this isn't exactly extreme mountain biking I get that but remember I'm old and tired. At least it's relatively scenic. And there's always the chance that my bike, my bike might fall to pieces. Or me. And then that'll make for an entertaining video.